Hey, uh, it's been a month since I made a video, so this is going to be a slightly longer one than usual, uh, but hopefully I can get you caught up and then we can pick it up from here. Uh, the first eight weeks of the Bootstrap Challenge was very exploratory for me. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I wasn't sure what I wanted to build, I didn't have any real ideas, so it was very much putting stuff out there, learning a lot, meeting people, uh, and seeing what caught my interest. Ultimately, when I went radio silent, it's because something had caught my interest. Um, an idea I haven't written about yet on the site, it's called Dexio. Uh, D-E-X dot I-O. Um, and I was really excited about it. It stood up customer development and I wanted to treat it more like a real company and less like a goofy side project. So in the last month, um, I've built out the team, put together a board of advisors. Um, the site went live a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm finishing up the app for it this week, I hope. Um, all the pieces are coming into place. Early signs um, of, of how it's working. They're all very positive. I'm pretty optimistic about it. Uh, however, it's not going to be a big revenue generator uh, in the early early days. It's much more uh, kind of long-term, uh, big content, uh, etc. And I feel like it would be doing a bit of a disservice to the idea and to the company and to the other people who believe in it and who are participating if I tried to optimize it for short-term revenue. That is a long way of saying that I'm basically going to lose the bootstrap challenge. Um, I, you know, the situation I'm in, originally I was like, hey, let's try to build something, let's work alone. Um, for this to work, I really need a team, uh, and so now I have to think a bit longer term. Now, what I'm going to do now, uh, I think is still interesting, and it's something I'm excited about, but it is very much not in line with the original spirit of the Bootstrap Challenge. Um, so this company is one which, uh, like, it would do well with funding, uh, but when you start something out, it has no chance of getting it. So the way I'm using the remaining time that I have, uh, I've got about four and a half thousand pounds left in the bank. Um, that gives me about two months, just over maybe, of uh, what would have been bootstrap challenge work. And instead, I'm going to pour all of that into Dexio. And I'm going to see how far I can get it and how much momentum I can put behind it. So that when I ultimately run out of my own resources, uh, there's enough uh, evidence that Dexio is a good idea. Uh, real evidence from the market, not just my opinion. Uh, that I'll be able to gather the rest of the money and the resources and the people I need uh, to really build it up as a proper company. So that's what I'm doing. Um, that's more or less what most of the updates are going to be about. It's the early days of building this company. Uh, so I'm about, depending on how you measure it, either four weeks or eight weeks into it. Um, the first four weeks were customer development. The previous four weeks have been um, uh, development, building the thing, uh, and starting to get into users' hands, uh, get real feedback, all of that. Um, yeah, in terms of the other projects, uh, What to Write, HN Alerts, and Events London have more or less all been tabled. Uh, HN Alerts still has some very happy uh, users. Some of them have even offered to pay me, but I don't feel like there's enough of them out there uh, for it to really justify uh, the extra time investment it would take to bring it to that level. Uh, what to Write, again, it's like, I love it. It's a super fun hobby project. I don't really see the revenue path. Um, with both HN Alerts and uh, What to Write, I'm actually going to try some, uh, some affiliate options with them. I think there's decent ways to bring people in the door, uh, and there's a few other uh, products which have appeared in the past month, which I think they do well as kind of a, as an affiliate thing for. So people might come into What to Write and they go, oh, like that's cool, I'm going to start blogging. And then there are other paid programs that they might want to buy that other people have made uh, to help them take that to the next level. Um, and then the last one that was open, uh, so Events LDN I had to drop because I lost my distribution partner and it was a complete non-starter without the distribution. Um, and the last one is Duel, the card game. Uh, this one I'm actually pretty excited about. It's going really well. Uh, the game's great. However, we're leaning toward using a publisher instead of self-publishing. And that's extended the timelines on everything far enough that uh, even though I think that more revenue will come in through it ultimately and that it will be a good and successful product, uh, it's going to take six months for that to happen because just working with the publisher is a bit slower. Um, so that means even if the revenue does come in, it won't uh, come in in time for it to count for the Bootstrap Challenge. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that, that's basically the, uh, the update. Um, but really, I just want to put every possible minute into Dextio. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully you will stick around and we can see how far we can get this thing in the next two months.